Denzel Ward didn't have his best year last year, but I think Denzel Ward this year has been locked down lights out. Uh, you look at what he's been th- th- doing throughout the season. Um, he's been stingy on some of the best guys out there. He's been he's been sticky on on you know top notch names, uh, DK Metcalf's of the world, Hollywood Browns of the world. He's been on, on the Bengals receivers. He's played a great year so far. He's unfortunately he was out last game, and I think you started started to see what this defense lacks when you don't have. Greg Newsom in the slot, Denzel Ward and Martin Emerson. You could tell that the Browns were missing that. You could tell that the Browns were missing his coverage and just what he could do by taking a guy out. I thought Cortland Sutton was a was a little too big for Greg Newsom. And I think to be truthful, Greg Newsom will probably tell you to a man right now, he's more suited and comfortable playing inside. His production is better. You hit this the lineup, the size is different. And I think he has excelled so far this year. But when you don't have Denzel Ward in there, I mean, how big of a, a, a drop off is it um, when you when you don't have a guy, and you, especially when you're playing guys and you want to play man to man coverage? Well, I mean, listen, the thing about G New is he's gotten accustomed to playing in the slot. You know, that's yep. become his thing. He plays outside, you know, every now and again. But for the majority of the time, he's in the slot. And like I said, that's two totally different worlds. You know, when you ask to go from playing slot to ask to going outside. It, it, you know? Explain explain that a little bit to, to, to people because this is like the nuance and the, the minutia that a lot of people won't get. They just say play slot. What is the difference between being a slot guy and an a outside corner for the fans and, and the laymans out there? So if you're in the slot, I think you're more protected. It's a lot of traffic. You know, if they if they run a route, they typically got to run through linebackers, you know, all this action in there. So it, it's just totally different. When you're on the outside, you it feels like it's nobody within 100 yards, in which it's just you and that guy. You know, you can't really depend on anybody. Yeah, they tell you, you, you might get a linebacker in there that might be in a window and on your inside. But 98% of the time, that's not the case. So you got to be all over. It's just, it's so much space. And it's so many different routes that they can run to get open. And these guys, is the top guys. You know, these is the elite of the elite. So when you go outside, that's what I always say. If you got an outside corner, that's a lockdown guy. You better keep him forever. And like I said, <laughs> Denzel has progressed into being that guy. Like last year, he was up and down. I thought last year, even though it wasn't his best year, I still think he was just like a step off. I feel like he was still right there, but he just wasn't making the play. You know, and obviously, I think it was some stuff going on with him. This year, he's been right where he needed to be, and he's been getting his hand on the ball. He's been coming up, making tackles. He does a whole entire lot. You know, and like I say, G knew for a guy who, you know, over the rumors said that he didn't want to play in the slot and he wanted to leave because of the slot. That boy became the man at the slot now, and it's Mm -hmm. just funny to see him, you know, not excel well. Now, on the first P.I., you know, I thought you know, I thought his technique was good. I thought everything was good. He just he looked and leaned and he fell down. And when he fell down, he caused him to fall. And that's what led to the PI. I thought everything else was good though. Outside of that, I, it just seemed like he became the guy to go at for some odd reason. I don't really feel like MJ Emerson is getting targeted like that. But that guy G knew it, for some odd reason, he just looked like the guy that that offensive coordinator chose to go at. Yeah, it, it just looked like from get go, they was like, listen, we got you. Yeah, you you don't even know it. We about to we about to victimize you today. Um, also, you know, sometimes it, it, you know it's a little bit of desire. We talked to Greg Newsom before, and you got to tell you in the run fit when you when you in the slot, you in the run fit, dog. Yeah. Um, you can't afford to miss no tackles. He missed a tackle against uh, Pittsburgh Steelers. They took off. Um, mm. Uh, you know, he missed a ta- missed the tackle last year, well, yesterday, where they th- quick hitch ten yards. Like you know, how you know when you got a guy in in, in the corner in the slot, and you know what is the the taking giveaway, right? You want to get your best coverage guys on the field, but how much do they they think about it in, in terms of whether or not putting that guy in in the slot or, or versus coverage or tackling, and do they or do they ever think about possibly putting 
a more safety type guy in at, at, at the slot, or is that giving up too much in the past game? That's giving up too much in the past game. Now, if that if that safety is good at coverage, you know, you could keep it, you could put him in that, that nickel spot. You know, I, when I played for Dallas, you know, me being a corner that went to safety, that went to corner, that went to safety, they were like, oh, you could go play nickel because we know you've already had experience of doing both. So if you got a guy like that, you know, you can put him in that nickel spot. But <clears throat> make no mistakes about it. You got to be ready to come up and, and fit because you got some type of gap. I know he was talking about at the beginning of this year, like, it's like, yeah, the, the run fits is totally different this year. Like, I'm not really responsible for the runs. BS, if that ball break you, yes, you are. You better go shoot that gap and you better put your face in there. So I think that, you know, he, they, they got to figure it out. I, I don't know. I guess Mike, like so, so I think the way it went was Mike Ford would come in and Mike Ford went to nickel and G New went outside. I mean, obviously for that one play, maybe that's the case. I don't know. But what happened to AJ Green? Like that's a guy who played inside and outside. So he he's in the shadow realm or something. I don't I mean, know. He where... got, I think he got promoted for this game. So I was like, you know, maybe you know he'd be the guy that they put in there because he got some experience. But I, I don't know. All I know. Is Denzel better find a way to get healthy? And all I also know is that boy MJ Emerson be having his side on lock because they really I don't see or hear from him. No, if you you don't see that at all. Like they, listen, he, he it looks like they don't even throw over there. Really, real talk. Like they just knew where they was going to victimize and where they was going to go. Uh, with that.